guys so today we're back with another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is unboxing new mantises and talking you through the ones that we already have and we're also going to be doing a few feeding videos and some cool time lapses of duke the giant mantis so let's go so guys getting into the video now before i open this um i haven't checked none of the contents inside and i've just done this to make it easier to unbox but i literally ordered these 24 hours ago and they're already here within sort of under a full working day as such first class shipping from the live food hub absolutely amazing caring for the animals making sure they're in transport for the least amount of time as possible so we've got some wrapping paper all right first things first is our locusts a very generous bunch as well and already looking at the contents there, you can tell that it's much more than your average pet store that you'd get in there. Look at that, absolutely packed full. Probably close to even two packets in there. So that is what we've got there. Oh, I can see one of the guys already. Here we have a fruit fly pack. Um, like I say, there's a f decent amount in here. Um, and obviously these establish as time goes on. So these are for the smaller um, mammoths. Sorry guys, it's quite early. I'm still trying to figure out how to speak. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got them. And then we have this little guy here, which is the ghost mammoth. And he looks in good health. He's doing well. Looks like he's chilling, looking pretty cool as well. Yeah, he looks pretty healthy. He's doing good. It's always good, so I'll put him down. Then in here, looks like... Probably the leaf insect, but we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, we've actually had a molt as well. So here we have the very skittish... Got a focus giant African and he actually molted successfully in the tub which is great for us and great for him he was obviously in good health prior to shipping because if not the setup wouldn't have been suitable for him to molt and he would have struggled but looking at him he looks pretty sweet he looks quite little but yeah he looks pretty cool as well so he will go there as well and then aha Getting on to the Malaysian flower mantis. They've actually packed some fruit flies in here with him, which is great. He's in there. You can't see him too well. He looks in good health, though. Oh, he's actually got a fly. Oh, that's why. I don't know if you can see. I'll try and zoom in, but... You can just see the wings at the top there. So he obviously didn't mind getting transported. He's chilling. He's eating. So that's always good to see. So that is our contents there. So as you can see, a little bit of a closer look at each of the mantises. This is the giant African, who, like I say, molted. And then we've got the ghost mantis as well. And of course, the Malaysian flower, who is tucking away. Um, we did have a dead on arrival leaf insect. I did try and give him a tiny drop of water to see if he could re be revived, but no movement in him at all. But I've contacted the supplier, and I'm sure they'll rectify it because they are pretty good at stuff like that. Customer satisfaction, they go all the way for you. So like I say, they'll be in contact, but I'll let you know the outcome at the end of this video. So other than that, we're going to get these guys set up. Asian, uh, giant African mantis, and as you can see there, he is enjoying a drink. He's just come out of malt, so we've got to be really careful with him. He's going to be quite a good girl, quite delicate. So I think that's the most got his really issues. And then he's going to be enjoying himself a nice little drink. And he's going to be one here. So he's going to get settled in. And then we're going to move on to the next.
And this is the little ghost malice. He's just chilling, exploring my finger, seeing what I taste like. But he's pretty chill. Looks in good health. Everything looks good about him. Looking pretty cool. Got a nice little stance there. Look. He's looking good. But like I said, I don't currently have a setup for him. So he's going to go back in there. And then I'm going to go get a setup for him. I didn't expect him to quite arrive so soon. But he'll be fine in there for the time being. But he is looking right, good. Right here is the Malaysian flower mantis. Now he looks pretty cool as well. Now this guy is probably the smallest out of all of them. Uh, my phone is zoomed in so it's probably going to be quite shaky but that's about as good as I can get of him. But he's doing well, he looks good. So we're going to go get these guys all set up. The ghost mantis is enjoying himself. And the giant African is right down there at the bottom. But my phone focused on the net instead. So yeah. <laughs> now some of you guys might know, some of you might not. This is Duke, the giant Asian mantis. He was not in the previous unboxing that you have just watched because he is one of my first ever mantises, which I told you about in a previous video. So obviously he is much, much bigger. Now this is a little clip of him eating a large locust. This is the first time he's managed a large locust and he has absolutely crushed it. So I've also got a time lapse of this as well and we'll run through that a little bit later. Now with Duke, he normally gets the prey item and normally eats it from the head downwards, killing it first and almost instantly. But this time he decided to start from the back and work his way up, which for the locust is quite unfortunate. But as you can see here, it's pretty cool and very interesting to watch in a time lapse mode because it is just so, so fascinating. And then this is a little video here of the ghost mantis. Now, this little guy has settled in really well and he normally eats fruit flies, but I thought I'd try him on a cricket. The first couple of times I tried him, he wasn't too keen, but after sort of realizing that he wasn't just striking it to be aggressive and striking it to actually hunt it, as soon as he got hold of it, he tucked in. And as you can see here, well, he absolutely loved it, but we're still going to be doing fruit flies as well as small crickets just to give them a little bit of a different varied diet instead of the same thing over and over again. But again, like I said, all in all, he has settled in really, really well and he has actually got a really nice little personality and he's always waiting to come out. Now, this little guy is the giant African mantis. Now, I couldn't quite get him out because he's super quick and he's also super driven by food. He eats anything you throw in his path, even a locust. And I've also given him multiple fruit flies where he's actually had one in one claw and one in the other. So he's actually been eating two at one time. So yeah, he's really food driven. He's had fruit flies, crickets, locusts, mealworms, but I'll get a better video of him in a future video but that is have to gonna have to do for now. Now, jumping back to earlier, this is another video of Duke finishing off the large locust that he had, and this is out of the time-lapse mode, and I was basically just trying to get a bit of a different perspective for you guys instead of having it through one angle. As you can see, that is my phone on the time-lapse mode, and he really enjoyed it. But after this, he'll be going into this brand new enclosure, which obviously we built ourselves by doing the mesh. But there we have full video and tutorial on moving him and setting up his new enclosure so make sure you stay tuned for that and last but not least to end the video i was trying to get my praying mantis to feed on camera my praying mantis my um venus flytrap to feed on camera and look at this boom finally got it after about three or four attempts of recording and messing it up and the cricket running off but yeah, there we go. So guys, that basically concludes today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. We've covered quite a lot of all the mantis that's feeding. Um, obviously the leaf insect didn't make it, but that was all covered and we got a full refund. 
And other than that, I'm now looking forward to moving Duke, who is next to me, into his new enclosure, which will be another video coming soon. So if you love want to see that, make sure you subscribe, leave a little like, drop a comment if you want to see some stuff, and thank you for watching. See you next time.